guys, Zubrated right back at again with another video, and today I'm going to show you the Modio app just released a couple days ago. Now this app is for 3D printing, and it's kind of for kids, but I think it's pretty badass. So what it is, is an app where you can make your own little kind of action figure slash character slash um, monster beast. And then what it will do is you can uh, get the files from this send it over to the 3D printer and print it out exactly the way you see it and then it will uh, come to life. So what we're gonna do is this guy in the bottom left right here um, or I mean in the left I wanna make him. So what I can do is I can hit the plus sign come in and drag in the parts it tells me. So it's telling me the torso and then the penis part, I guess you could say. And then his leg and his, oops, that part. Now, like if I was to bring in another one of these, it wouldn't, it wouldn't go to it because it's not the right part. So I need a foot. So I'm gonna bring in a foot. Now this is kind of like the the dumbed down version of like this is what you're gonna make kind of thing you can't really um, can't really change it at all but what you can do is if you don't select this kind of like character thing um, you can go in and create exactly what you want exactly how you want it so right now how we're putting on his head then we're giving him a nice badass sword so there, there we have him. So now what I can do is I can drag him around. So you can see I can move his joints, all of them. You know they're not supposed to move like that. His legs. Could swing his head. Touch his sword. Not that sword. And then what you can do is you come over to the bottom right and you click on the colors you can choose any color you want. So the three colors I have are black, white, and red, or black, white, and green. So I'm gonna go over to black, choose all the black pieces I want. Then I'm gonna come over to white, select this sword. Then I'm gonna select green and do his feet and his torso. Don't tell me that looks that doesn't look badass. I mean, in the position he's in right now, it doesn't. But you get the point. So then what you can do is come over to the bottom left here, you click that, and it takes the pieces from the guy and it puts it on three separate plates because we use three separate colors. So we have a white plate, we have a black plate, and we have a green plate. Now what you can do with these plates is you can either make it bigger and it tells you if it's not going to be able to fit on the plate. You can make it smaller all the way up to 50%. And then what you can do is you can put it either all on one plate or multiple plates. Um, it tells you how long it's going to take. So I'm assuming that's two hours and four minutes because there's no way it's going to be two minutes. And it's going to take 11 grams. Now, that's pretty cool. So let's click on settings. And we have um, the MakerBot Replicator 2, which is cool. Because that's what I have. And then we can just hit... I want to make him bigger, though. Make him 100%. Hundred percent is good. So that's three different prints. Then you click the green button, which it's gonna send you the file. So you can download this pretty much on the network, I'm assuming. So if I go to my computer and I type in this address, you will be able to get the files and then um, print them. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get these files um, and show you on the computer. All right, guys. So now we're over to the computer. We have everything set up. And you can see the address is of the iPad. So the 192.168.2, that's up to here signifies my router. 
the 3 signifies the iPad, and then the 2014 is the port that the uh, iPad is communicating with the computer. So, um, but that's a that's a whole other thing. That's all networking and fun stuff. And I think that's what it is. So, anyway, it brought me to this web page, and now you can see there's build plate 1, 2, and 3. And if you remember, the build plate 1 had three parts, which I was going to print in green. Um, build plate 2 had 12 parts, which I'm going to print in black. And build plate 3 had one part, which was a sword, which I'm going to print in white. So after you download all three of these, if you have a MakerBot at least, you can download the things. If not, you download the zip, and it would give you an STL file, I'm pretty sure. Um, so you come over, and then you see I downloaded plate 1, 2, and 3. Now, the only thing different that I did was if I open up plate 2, I didn't do anything different on here, so everything is just how it came. That's going to look really cool. And then on plate 3, I just moved the stuff that was green onto the white plate because um, I don't think that green is going to come out good. It's I've just been having so many issues with the green filament I have that I just want to just chuck it out my window um it's just so much wasted time there but anyway so i'm just going to print it in white hopefully i have enough white um left to print this if not what are you going to do so let's um do one last step and i just want to move these i kind of just want to move these all to the center um but then again probably not because the back of the build plate sometimes i get warping over here and like it's just a problem and a pain in the butt but i think i'm just gonna wing it and hopefully it uh, works so let's make both of these on let's do infill of like eight that looks good and then we're gonna preview before printing now i usually do this so i see how much time is going to be in between or in between prints so there's that one and then let's also make this one with eight All right, guys, so you can see we have the two toolpath visualizations, and it runs kind of slow, especially it's just like so much processing power that it's trying to do. So I'm not going to try to move that much, but up in the right-hand corner of it, it says it's going to be 43 grams, and it's going to take about four and a half hours. I'm okay with that because it's like 9 o'clock in the morning, which isn't that bad. Um, and then this one's going to take two and a half hours, and it's going to be 23 grams. So I'm just going to hit export. It's going to bring up my uh, SD card. So I'm just going to do samurai uh, black, underscore black. Then I'm just going to export this one. Then I'm going to do samurai underscore white. So as it's doing this, I'm going to get all the get the printer set up now sometimes it does this i don't know what the, like it just disappears half of it disappears i don't know but hopefully it prints out more than just this so i'm gonna get the printer all set up get the camera all set up get the time lapse shit all set up and then i'll be right back
All right, so we finally got all the pieces printed. All the pieces were printed without support, which is pretty awesome. Um, just because something that started on like a ball cup, can't really see it that well, but there's a ball cup in there and just to be able to print around that without any support is pretty awesome. So these things are pretty much just like a bionicle. Um, it's pretty much just push it together, clips. I have this one already, this was a test. And the joint is, is pretty solid on it. So just gonna assemble it here and uh, check it out. All right, so there's the guy, and you can see he has full rotation, just like he did in the app. Um, his all his joints can move. So I'm gonna position him like he was holding his sword. So there he is, the little bionicle guy. He's all set up. Uh, it's it's pretty amazing that all this can just be printed without support straight from the app. Um, he came out at a, a decent size too, so he's gonna be going over to my desk. And uh, I'm probably gonna end up making a, almost like a scorpion kind of thing, but and then scale it up a little bit. So I did have trouble if you saw from the second part of the time lapse with um, three pieces and those three pieces were uh, right like right here this piece uh, dislodged and these two pieces conveniently so it's like I, I didn't have these three pieces on there um, oh no I'm sorry this piece and then his, his two hands those ones didn't print right but now it's all printed together. So what I had to do was uh, I, I moved these three pieces that I knew were going to have a problem. And I moved them to the center and then printed it and it was fine. So you can do little stances like this, which is pretty awesome. So that looks pretty cool. It's going to be a stance. Uh, he's going to be sitting on my desk. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Please like, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Download the app if you have an iPad and uh, just play with it. If you want, um, I might be doing a thing where you, if you download the app and you uh, send me the files via like email or something like that, I might be able to print it for you um, depending on how big it is, how elaborate it is, and it, it, it could be a couple weeks in order to like actually print it. But Something to think about. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more.